Me gusta pedir una buena cerveza de barril, la Imperial México. Ahora mismo. <laughs> nice choice of color for the bench. Like it. Anyway, I'm Paul, an English guy, showing you Mexico through my eyes. And today I'm going to talk about life lessons that everyone can learn from Mexicans. And just a little caveat before I continue, let's not forget that Mexico is incredibly diverse in ways of life, opinions, all that kind of stuff. So please, please remember, I'm just talking from my experience here and looking at Mexico generally and the life lessons I've learned here and think everyone can learn from. And the first life lesson I think everyone can learn from Mexicans is ask yourself every now and again, are you working to live or living to work? Now Mexicans in general are extremely hard working people and work long hours, but somehow they still find time to focus on the simple things in life that create happiness through well-being versus happiness through having large quantities of money, houses, cars, you know what I'm talking about. Now, abundance is of course a good thing. If I had this in front of me, Tio Paul would be going nuts. But perhaps in some countries, the culture is for a person to end up on the path to material greed, tiring themselves out, being miserable around their friends and family and becoming, well, Mr. Grumpy. And if you don't know, in Mexico, yes, there are many Mr. Grumpies too, but there are also many Mr. Happies. Mexico is every year ranked near the top or sometimes at the top of these international happiness reports. Perhaps because Mexicans know the importance of waking up and smelling the roses or smelling the coffee. I prefer smelling Chapa's coffee and enjoying the small but wonderful things in life, such as eating good food in the company of people you are close to. Now remember, I'm just talking generally, greed is definitely a problem in Mexico too, like anywhere in the world. Lots of Mr. Greedies here too. But in my experience, your typical Mexican has a good awareness of the life lesson that working to live is a much better place to be than living to work. And the next life lesson I personally learned in Mexico, and listen carefully, is that two hot women by my side is better than just one. No, just kidding. That's just international brand advertising there for Scottish whiskey. French owned, I might add. Anyway, I digress. What was I talking about? Yes, life lessons. And the next life lesson I think everyone can learn from Mexicans is don't take yourself so damn seriously. And in my experience, people here in Mexico are generally good at this. They laugh at themselves and know it's normal to make mistakes and have imperfections. They'll happily talk with their friends and family with a heart on their sleeves about how they messed up. They'll post that on social media too. Basically, they aren't constantly trying to present a fake and polished image to people around them. Because for a Mexican, life isn't about perfection, it's just about living. And I do think many people everywhere, and that includes many Mexicans too, by the way, can learn from that trait so common in Mexico. And something funny that does happen is because Mexicans just love to constantly make fun out of each other, this kind of keeps everyone not taking themselves too seriously anyway. Just brilliant. More flowers. And I love this guy. He's got a great product display and he's wearing what he told me is a Pancho Villa hat. Another street legend. And I just want to say thank you to the legends adding subtitles to my videos. Believe me, you are so much appreciated. And as usual, if anyone can help translate this video, the link is below. And the next life lesson I think everyone can learn from Mexicans is 
embrace humour to deal with all of life's ups and downs. Now this is something I really believe many places in the world get wrong, but Mexico gets right. In many countries, it's not politically correct or it's just seen as rude or inappropriate to make jokes in certain situations such as tragedies. It's political correctness gone mad and people self-censor themselves worried that they will offend someone. But in Mexico, it's all fair game and humor can be used. Mexicans make jokes about everything and even use it to deal with dark subjects like death. For example, during the Day of the Dead celebrations, one custom that reflects the Mexican mindset are short, funny, satirical poems known as calaveras that make fun at people in a way that suggests that they're dead even though they're alive. And yes, this might sound creepy to many, but it's funny for Mexicans and reminds everyone that we all end up in the same place. And all the research shows that humor helps people cope mentally in times of tragedy with sad events. It's a healing power. And it's great that in Mexico, people generally embrace humor in all situations, both happy and sad. Now, I won't lie, sometimes the humor in times of national tragedy in Mexico does go too far for me and for so many Mexicans also, especially with the kind of memes you see that are insensitive to the victims. I don't really like that, but still, using humor to deal with the ups and downs of life is a good life lesson. Cerveza de barril, la Imperial México. Ahora mismo. <laughs> And the next life lesson I think everyone can learn from Mexicans is it's best to avoid talking about controversial topics with friends and family. Now, Mexicans watching this all know that if you do talk about politics, religion, even football actually, be prepared for war because things can get very messy. And yes, I know this can happen anywhere in the world with those kind of topics, but really it's particularly true in Mexico. What can I say? Mexicans are passionate people. And perhaps because Mexicans are aware of the risk, they do naturally avoid conversation topics like politics, like religion, unless of course they are looking for a fight. And if you are a foreigner coming to Mexico for a holiday or even to live, do be aware that maybe where you're from, it's more common after a few drinks with your friends to perhaps delve into political topics and even challenge each other's views. But you do have to be a bit more careful with that stuff here in Mexico. And people here generally don't want to go down that path anyway. When Mexicans get together with friends and family, they really just want to have positive energy, enjoy the moment and make fun of each other. But stirring the political pot, so to speak, doesn't go down too well in Mexico. And for me, all this is a good life lesson. You know, it's been a funny day. I didn't plan to film videos of flowers, but first we had the little sunflower man, then we had the Pancho Villa flower man, both the true Mexico legends in my opinion, and now I'm randomly walking past a place completely full of flowers. I keep saying this, but Mexico streets never stop surprising me. Yeah, got myself some spicy peanuts from that little street shop you saw. Anyway, let me know down in the comments what life lessons you think Mexicans can teach the world. And if you genuinely enjoyed this video, please give the video a like, share it with your friends, all that good stuff. 
A massive thank you to my patrons on Patreon. It really does help me make my true Mexico videos. And if you would like to donate on Patreon or PayPal, the links are below. And if this is your first time here, why not click on one of my videos on the screen there and subscribe. So I'm Paul, this is True Mexico. Hasta luego.